Hello and welcome to the Animos YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about and light designs. This is going to be the first in a series of alien design videos that I'm going to do. And all it is, is me talking about the various alien designs and which one of them I think is most accurate. Now remember, that as a disclaimer, these are my personal opinions. And as we go through the artwork that will flash up here on the screen, I'm just seeing them here for my own reference, hence the weird where I am. Well, what the hell was I talking about again? This is not a criticism of the art style or the way it's been drawn. It is merely anatomical. So as I look through these designs, I'm going to look for the things that I think best depict how I see the Andalites in my head. And so you get the idea. This is also an opportunity for you, you viewers out there, to show me what your favourite depiction of the Andalite is. We all know that the Andalite is a six-limbed, seven if you include the tail, centaur-like alien race, typically with blue fur, with a scythe-like tail blade, eye stalks, no mouth, and three slits where a nose should be. Those are the general descriptions we get for Andalites on a very basic level. And most designs tend to follow along with that. So I've picked some, well, five examples here that I think fairly encompass the range of designs that people come up with. There are some weird and wacky designs out there, and I think I've got a couple here that are some of the more unusual, but no less interesting designs for Andalites. And I think they're marvellous. I will say there are a lot, there is a lot, sorry, grammar. There is a lot of Andalite artwork out there and it is superb. If you find yourself five or 10 minutes at some point, just go look around for Andalite pictures on the internet. Find your favorite and give me a link, whether it be in the comments below or if you join the Animals Discord. The Animals Discord, by the way, we've just pat we've about approached 370, uh, ah, for fuck's sake. We've approached 370 members on the Animals Discord. Go there, there's a little place for you to share pictures and tell me if it's your favorite. So, let's go over to the more obvious ones, first of all. So this one down here, this is the, the book version of the Andalite. So the example of an Andalite we get on the book covers, this is an older example. It's, it looks like what's happened here is it's been put through a Photoshop. There have been several different things, like the hands, for instance, look like they've come straight off a human and they've photoshopped in a couple extra fingers. Was it Photoshop that they were using back in those days? I don't know. The torso as well, from say the chest up, looks very human. The arms are about the same size as a human. And the body is basically that of a horse in, in all ways of looking at it. The eyes, the eye stalks are quite stubby with with green eyes on top now the, the the part that I find to be the least convincing on on this design is the face it has the jawline which it just doesn't look quite right and I think the other design or some of the other designs on this page get much more accurately there's something about the andalite face on the book covers that just didn't it just didn't sit right with me it, it didn't look right but that's the, that's the book cover, that's the one that I think most people will be most familiar with. The most recent design we get, however, is this one over here. Now this is a, a scene from the graphic novel, which is this thing that you should definitely go and buy your family and friends for Christmas to get us up the uh, Animorphs, uh, Amazon charts, or whatever charts we're going for, book charts. This design is quite similar to the first design we see. We've got the human-like torso, we've got the very human-like arms, and the horse-like body. It does differ in a few ways, though. The stork eyes tend to be a bit longer. The ears are longer, and also pointed down, whereas on this first design, they're, they're almost, like a, almost like cat ears. It's very much stocked up. 
One of the major differences is they don't look very hairy. Now remember they're supposed to be covered in fur, but the design in the graphic novel makes it look, if they have got fur, it's, it's very, um, like a, like a Weimaraner's hair or a German short head pointer. I'm talking dogs, quite short hair. So not very fluffy. And they are thick. I mean, we'd look, look at this here. The arse on Visser 3 is humongous. Humongous. But probably the most glaring thing about this to me, which doesn't sit right with me, is the, the jaw, which is very pronounced in the graphic novel. As you can see, yeah, a very pronounced jaw on Visa 3 there. Now, Andalites didn't have mouths, so I don't think they should have jaws. I think that's just my logic, you know, my brain doing brainy things. So we've got three more designs here, and these were drawn by various artists in the community. I will try to find the links to these artists' pages and I shall put them here at the bottom. So, this first one over here is probably the most bizarre, well, not so much bizarre, but more out there characterization of the Andalite design. The human torso is pretty much done away with. The legs are quite thick. The, bod the, the back, as was mentioned in the books, is sloped downwards towards the rear end of the underline, which is not quite the same as with these other designs. So that's quite accurate to the book representation. What isn't quite so accurate for, with this one, I believe, is the face. They're supposed to have quite a humanoid shaped face. And this one looks like it's, uh, it's been taken off an, an earth animal. Um, I'm trying to think of an example, but the, the, a long face with the protruding nose and mouth. The eyes as well look like the mouth of an ungulate. So you've got the, um, I forget what they call the type of eye, but if you look at the eye of a goat, for example, it's got that sort of eye. And I, I don't see why they would need that sort of eye because they've got stork eyes that look in every direction. I believe the reason for goats having the eyes that they do is that they get a wider field of vision. So they, they wouldn't need that. The blade is quite small, but then again, it was quite small on the other two designs we've talked about. In fact, it's pretty small on all of these designs. In fact, that's probably the one of the biggest blades we've got on this page. The hands as well look a bit odd. They've got very short arms, which were mentioned in the books, but they don't look particularly weak. And the fingers look quite chunky, but that may be the angle. The hooves look all right. I think this is a relatively accurate design, but I think the upper body, although it's not mentioned they look particularly human, I don't think it looks human enough. Let's move on to this design in the middle here. Again, another beautiful example. This is quite similar to the other one, but it's, it's got even less of a, an upper torso. It's, it's completely removed the human torso and the front legs and the arms sit right beside each other. Now, a very interesting design. I don't think that's particularly accurate, but I, I really do appreciate that design. It thing looks gorgeous, by the way. Really small tail blade, though. And I think the Andalite tail blades were meant to be huge, at least the size of, of this one we've just previously looked at. The hooves look very small, which I, I don't know, I don't know why I'm, why I'm even pointing that out. Hands and arms look, I think, the way they should. The face as well, I think, is quite good. Not as triangular as I think it would have been, because they were meant to have like triangular faces, and I think part of that would have been the, the, um, the ears and the lack of the jaw. But I think the, the head of this one is more accurate than, at least in my head, than the previous one. But I think missing the torso is not how I picture the Andalites to be. Now, the way I depict Andalites is probably closest, most closely represented on this page by this one here. And I think it 
it's the, the perfect compromise really between the book cover ones and this one up here that we discussed earlier. I think that they're, they're all beautifully drawn pictures and I really do appreciate the, the ingenuity and the, that, that goes into designing these and drawing these and everybody's got their own way of looking at these uh, or, or thinking about these aliens. And remember, this is just how I picture them. I'm just, yeah, you know what I mean. I think the body is good. That's all fine. Tail looks very long. Blade looks relatively big. The arms look small and weak, as they were mentioned to be in the books. And the torso doesn't quite look human, but it looks relatively human. And the face as well, it's mostly gotten rid of the jaw. There's still a bit of jaw there. The eye stalks are very long, but the face I think is, is, is really well done there. And I think in my head, when I'm reading animal stories, I think it's closest to this one here. So that's my thoughts on the Andalite design and how I pictured them in my head. Again, brilliant artwork here. I recommend you go check out the artists uh, in the links because they've done some stunning work. And I want you to tell me, which of these depictions do you think of when you're reading about Andalites? Are there any that I'm missing here that you, have, uh, you, you think about? I do want to point out that, I think it was, was his name, Jason Aaron. He's doing a massive project on like, the proper anatomy and I mean anatomy of Andalites. And I'll probably put a link to something there. And um, he's done a lot of work on that, but it's like, it's like organs and skeleton and, 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 and bones and stuff like that. So go check that out as well. That's well worth a look. So tell me what your depiction, how you see Andalites in the Animals books and be prepared for the next one. Well, I'll probably cover Hawk Bajir next, and then probably after that, Taxons, and then whatever, whatever comes next. I might do like little, not so much competitions, but get some animals artists to come up with designs for things like the Nahara or the Ongachik, both of which were mentioned in book eight, by the way. So, thank you very much for watching. Tell me what your thoughts are and which of these most closely represents your idea of an Andalite. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.